Hello Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lemke here with Through Gamer Goggles and today we're going to take a look at some Cromlick bits. Uh, they're a European company that makes specialized bits for um, science fiction miniatures game and fantasy miniature games. I'm going to take these these heads and I'm going to modify some Mantic Games Enforcers because I think they would look cool as Samurais. I'm going to take this guy I'm going to break off his head and I'm going to put one of these samurai heads on. Hopefully they're not... Yeah, they're a little bit big, but that's okay. I kind of like that. So, I'm going to break off the head with a pair of needle nose pliers. Maybe. And then I'm going to clean up I need a slightly bigger bit that I'm not sure I have handy. So I'm just going to use a knife. Now the super glue is making this harder than it really should be, but we're going to go ahead and nip that off there with my little nippers here. We're going to see what it looks like. Not a great fit yet. I'm just going to keep going like this, use the uh, blade as a drill, maybe clean up the glue a little bit faster with a big knife. Now be careful not to slip and cut your finger because these knives will cut you to the bone. A little bit of drilling. Just kind of keep cleaning it out. Right now my base blade is bending a little bit. Uh, if you have a small countersink, those work really, really well. Now, I'm finding that on this model, it's going to be important to drill the hole out a little bit so I'm actually gonna go get a bigger drill bit I will be right back I'm gonna use an old metal bit that I used to use but I, I really don't have a purpose for it anymore just repeatedly turn it a little bit now I don't have a hand drill that this will fit in Grab the knife a little bit and clean out the hole a little more. See where I'm at. And, and as you can see, these these chromic heads are pretty pretty detailed. Probably going to be a little bit of a challenge for me to paint, uh, but I really kind of want to get that in there a little bit. I might have to. I'm actually going to cheat a little bit, and I'm going to file off some of the, the neck piece. Maybe a little bit in the back more too. Because <clears throat> proportionally speaking the head looks a little bit big for the body. And I'm actually going to have to pack it with a little bit of green stuff. 
but I think they'll look really cool as samurais when it's all said and done. Clean that out a little bit more too. Actually, I need a slightly larger drill, but this is a uh, Oh, I can't see it. It's so old. Right there. Yeah, in this light, I can't tell what size drill bit this is. Carve it out here a little bit more in the back. I'd rather go to the back than to the front. And again, don't slip when you're doing this at home. <clears throat> need to take a little bit out right there so I'm going to take a little bit of a cut and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side a little bit Now, I need to clean out the back more, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge, because I don't need to take that, this part of the collar off. I just need to take some out of the back so the helmet fits in there better. Now, this is a pretty simple conversion to make. Uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping that I do not need any grain stuff because I am not a sculptor. Now, there's a good chance I'm going to have to film a second part to this video and I'm going to have to finish them by doing some green stuff. Uh, I might do that at Con on the Cob in the fall because there's going to be a few sculptors there that will be able to help me out and give me tips. I've never done any sculpting. I'm not sure that they're going to have an Asian enough feel for what I want to do and you can see there's a big a big gap there well I can make him looking down but then he's going to be silly looking so I really kind of need to clean this out a little bit more without gouging out the front Now, when I saw these heads, I originally thought of maybe doing this with Necrons, but I already had these models, and I didn't want to go out and buy new models to make this work. So now what I'm going to do is, there's still that ugly gap there, I'm going to take a little bit off the side, because this is softer, this resin is softer, so I'm going to take a little bit off here, off the tip until it fits off the sides of the head because it's a little bit easier to work with that's a lot better it's pretty much I think that's acceptable so we're going to go ahead and glue that head on. <clears throat> I'm using Zappa Gap glue. It has become my favorite modeling glue. Just a drop. Put the head in there. And hold it until it dries. Uh, what I don't have is any plastic glue, which would probably be pretty good. Actually, he looks pretty mean looking. I like that. Uh, when his head dries, the next step is going to be 
to take one of these katanas, these power katanas, uh, that for this model are pretty much like a die katana. They're they're really big. Uh, and I'm going to try and put it in his hand. And he'll be the only one that has it in his hand because he's the only one that's got the free hand. Uh, but they're all going to get it. And the problem I'm going to have here with this is it's going to be really close to his leg. So I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at it and take a look and see if I just want to glue it onto his knuckles and make it look like he's holding it. See how stupid that will look. Or if I'm going to try and burr out that part of his hand or if I'm going to break off his arm and start over with it. I, I really don't know yet. But we're going to move on to the next the next head which I'm going to use on the heavy gunner I'm going to go ahead and use this head the one with the, the optical eye now uh, there are ten heads here so I'm going to have the ability to do another five down the road I only have five enforcers this time I'm going to use this to break off his head. Maybe it'll break it off better. And it did. Popped right off. And we're going to clean this out a little bit. Actually, we're just going to go right to the drill bit. Try this. No, that's not going to work so well. I thought maybe if I could hold the drill bit, I would uh, be able to spin the model but that didn't happen and as you can see the resin is pretty soft the plastic that Mantic uses it's soft enough that I can twist this drill bit that is no longer any good for wood and metal and clean out the area I need to clean out now I'm going to angle it in there a little bit which I didn't do on the last one and I'm going to try and clean out the uh, back of the collar a little bit more by rolling the bit in there a little bit take my knife clean out those rough edges a little bit now like I said the other guy's gonna get the katana uh, I'm thinking about putting the katana nip that off a little bit take the file you know I, I'm gonna leave that little barb on there file it down just a hair and down just a hair make it look like it's a barbed point I'm thinking about putting the katana on their backpack because it it kind of fits uh, almost in there. I, I either have to file this out a little bit or file that nub off the katana there or just you know probably a little bit of knife work would do it but the, the, the katanas are pretty delicate so I don't want to go crazy with it and hurt it too much so I'm probably just gonna go like this and scrape it off until it fits. What I really wanted to do is I wanted to put it in on an angle going through their pack but if you look at the thickness of the the blade and the thickness of the backpack I really don't have a way to cut that in there so I'm gonna have to settle for second best which will be filing it down and putting it in there um, to get in there I'm gonna have to use a straight file on its side like so and see how I did I have to go a lot farther maybe I can speed this process up a little bit by using the knife cutting down on a V like that and then cutting back 
Now, there are other things I could do to these models to give them a, more of an oriental feel, which I might do with sculpting. But again, like I said, I've never sculpted before, so I'll, I would wait. I will wait to do that until Khan and Cobb, and I'll probably do it with one model, and then. And then I'll uh, demonstrate that technique that I learned with other models. Still needs to come out a little bit, so we're going to take... Now we're following down the actual pack a little bit. see if that sword fits in there now I kind of I mean I like the swords but I really kind of don't like it on the back like that it's kind of silly and whatnot and, and it might be too long so I may have to cut it a little bit but these are more like die katanas they're more like a two-handed weapon and I'll I'll, I'll live with that uh, I need to file that out of there a little bit more. Where is... This file. This is a square file that fits in there nicely. Look at that. And that's pretty much where that'll go. Now, we're going to have to put the head on next because I really don't know Well, it's a nice fit. I don't like all the neck showing, all the little round balls, so we're going to file some of that off. We're going to file a good bit of that off actually. We're going to take the flat file again, slide him off the side, and we're just going to file that down. We're going to file down a good bit. And let's see what we've got here. Well, that's a lot better. Again, I need to do that that angle thing, that filing on an angle a little bit. Not a lot. Less on this guy because of the way I did the drilling. I took a little bit too much off on his neck. His, his, his helmet is hitting the collar a little bit so his head's going to be looking forward just a hair and we're going to we're going to leave it like that we're going to glue it Hold it in there and let it bond. I think he looks better than the other guy. I like them. They look pretty cool as samurais. I like the helmets. Now, basically, we're going to do the same thing on the other three guys. One's already started, so we're going to go ahead and do one more. This time, we're going to use this head. 
Now we're going to use this one. I like this one. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. And if I file this down, it might just work on this guy. Because he's... Nope, definitely need to drill it out a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll probably cut some of this out. Boom, baby. Now you can even turn his head a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's going to look good. Drop that glue in there. That's a little too much glue. So I'll take one of these handy-dandy pieces of foam from one of your millions of army transport or battle foam containers and clean it off. As long as he doesn't stick to your finger, you can hold him until he sets, which shouldn't be too long. Oh, I like it. Oh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do them all. Just going to do it real quick. Break off the head. Go assembly line fashion. Whoa. This guy's head doesn't want to come off. Get the drill. Clean it out a little bit. Get the drill. Clean it out a little bit. There's a burr in this one from the glue. I can I keep hitting it. Take my knife. Clean up the edge a little bit. See if it's enough. Pick a head. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to go with this head and this head. Let's see what they look like. Definitely going to need to file off some of the, the neck, as we'll call it, since it's not really a neck. but Just a straight file will work. Keep a little bit of the shape for the roundness so you don't have to fill it with green stuff. I think he needs to come off a little bit more. More filing on this guy. All in all, it's like I said, it's a simple conversion, adds a lot of flavor to these guys. Uh, as far as I know, I'll be the only guy with Samurai Enforcers for Mantic Games. Unless, you know, people really like this, and then they, they go ahead and do it. If you do, I would love to see your conversions, and send me your pictures, and I'll post them up on our blog. We'll make a, a Samurai conversion thing. Uh, I, like I said, I'm not a sculptor, so I don't plan on going too much beyond this, but 
you can add a lot of things for flavor you could add the old Japanese style banner that they used to wear on their back uh, I'm gonna put katanas the katana is a real simple conversion so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on showing it to you I'm just gonna do it to the one well the two guys the one guy with the hand As soon as his head sets, I'm going to be able to set him down. He kind of looks like a football player. Wow! What an idea. These guys would be great for Mantic's new game, Dreadball. Let's see here. Again, I'm probably going to have to file his head down. Maybe not. doesn't look that bad. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit with the knife. Scrape some of this white stuff out of here. Take a look at it again. If I angle it down just a little bit, I think he'll be okay. Try and hold him steady. Tip his head just a little bit, like I said I would, and let him dry. As soon as he sets, I'm going to set him aside and let him finish drying on his own. And then we'll take a look at all of them together right now. As soon as he sets. I cheated, I used Zip Kicker. I don't like to use Zip Kicker. But, there's one guy. There's second guy. Oops. Do it like that. There's the third guy. Turn him a little bit. And then there's what I'll call the captain. Okay, now we're going to do a blade or two. We're going to take this blade and put it on the guy that I filed up a little bit, which is the heavy gunner. It fits nicely now. The question I have is, does it look silly? That's not bad. I can live with that. Put a drop of glue here. Hold it there until it sets. The less glue you use, the better this will look. Uh, what I might do on this model is to make it look like it's a sheath. Uh, we'll just say it's magnetic. Uh, 
that doesn't look bad. Now, I did create a problem for myself because that is going to be really hard to paint. Before I do the other ones, I'm going to paint the blades first. Well, before I do most of the other ones. I have a challenge here on this guy because he's got this sword-like vibro thing already on his arm. And, well, that has to come off to do what I want to do. So I'm going to nip that off right now. We're going to start by nipping that off there. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but he actually has a hand that's underneath that portion of the blade. And I'm just going to file this off to make it look a little bit more presentable with the flat file. No, well, it's just a piece of armor now. Maybe use the knife a little bit. Around it. Now the problem I have is if you you can see... You really can't see that. Now you can see that. That's his fist. So his, his katana, which I'm going to have to cut one off here in a second... His katana actually goes right through here like this. Almost sits on his leg. So I either have to drill out the hand, which I don't think is going to be easy because you can see that the, the bit is not as wide as the katana thing. So drawing out this hand is not going to be, A, it, it won't be easy. That is one of the toughest things that you can do, I think, in, in this. I can try and file it off, but that would probably break it. I could just nip, nip the katana and glue it in there. Like he's carrying it out like that. Well, we'll, we'll see. I don't want to waste the katana. I'm going to try and drill it out. And I'm going to hold him like this to do it so you can see what I'm doing. And this is actually the toughest thing really to do. Because if I put too much pressure on this, I'm going to break his arm off. And, well, if I would have thought of this conversion before I put these guys together, I probably would have done this on a, a, a vice. I would have put the arm in a vice and done this. But, yeah, that's not going to work so well. So the next step... is to maybe cut the hilt, the handle off like so and just glue it on to his hand. I am going to file that a little bit because I want it to be smooth for a good bond. Uh, so I basically just took off his thumb. And on top of that, I don't like the angle it's at. It's sitting right on his body. So I'm going to file this on an angle as well. I want it to be out away from his body. I'm trying not to take too much off because I don't want to lose a lot of what he has. And that is 
a lot better. I think. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that on there. Just a little drop of glue. Hold this here. Let it set. I'm actually going to use zip kicker on this. Now you can see there's a little bit of space in there. Doesn't look too corny for a simple conversion. And, you know, it, what looks bad is there's no handle sticking out the other end. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. And we're going to nip off some of the handle and we're going to take these little pliers I hope and gently hold it after I put a drop of glue on the other side that I should have already filed off so it's flat So we're going to put a drop of glue here, and I'm not going to use the pliers because I, I forgot it zip kicked, so I'm not going to have time, oh crap, and see, that is a problem right there with zip kicker, because uh, it is stuck to my finger, nail, And that is a simple Enforcer Samurai conversion. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to put all five models out. I'm not going to do the rest of the swords because the swords are pretty easy. Uh, there's a couple other things that I'm going to think about doing. But I don't know. I think they look... Samurai enough, I think with paint, a good red, orange, and maybe a yellow paint job, these will be pretty sharp looking. Uh, do some cool things with the swords. Uh, actually painting these guys up as samurais is probably a bit beyond my skill. Uh, this has been a conversion with Matt Lemke from Through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com. Again, the bits I used were from Cromlech, the bits... Uh, or for their samurai models. Uh, again, I thought about doing this with the necromancers, and uh, I'm I'm glad that I had the enforcers to do it with because I think that looks pretty cool. I really can't wait to get these guys painted up. I might do some more things to the, some of their shoulders or something. I have to do some research on samurais and take a look at their armor. But I saw these samurai heads and I thought they'd look good on these guys. Thank you and have a good day. You can always visit uh, Kromlech.eu. At, well, it's right here actually, comic.eu, and check out their bits and thank them for our support. Let them know you saw this video because they gave us the minis when we asked for them, or they gave us the bits and said, Yeah, we'd like to see you do some conversions. So show them our support too. Thank you and have a good day.